Hello, my name is Ron Timhin. I'm a freelance photographer based in London and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe Stock and show how it integrates perfectly with Photoshop. So I've chosen to use one of my aerial photography images taken over London. As you can see, it's very atmospheric and very foggy. However, I'd like to add some more fog into the bottom half of the image to give the image a little bit more depth. To do this, we're going to go onto the Adobe Stock website and we're going to search for fog. So as you can see, we've got thousands of results that fit our criteria. However, we want to be a bit more specific and fulfill what I'm looking for. So we're going to go down to the depth of field filter and we're going to slide it up maybe three or four notches and see what we get. This one fits our criteria quite well. I'm going to click Save Preview to my library and that's going to automatically save it to your library within Photoshop. We're going to head back over to Photoshop and there it is already in our library. And as you can see, it's integrated perfectly in Photoshop, ready for us to start working with. So what's great about the integration between Adobe Stock and Photoshop is that you're able to preview our stock image working with our current image and see if this image works before licensing and look at our options and see whether we want to actually purchase it. So what we're going to do, we're going to compose our stock image over the aerial photography image. Happy with that. And from here, we're going to change the blend mode to screen to get rid of all the black. To me, that looks great. So all that's left to do is to license the image and get rid of the watermarks. It's really, really simple to do this. All we have to do is to right click on the image in our library and click license image. We don't even need to leave Photoshop. Hit OK, it should automatically update. So the image has now been licensed and the watermarks have been removed. So Adobe Stock has really helped me enhance this picture and really helped me achieve the effect I was looking for. So this is the original and this is with the Adobe Stock image applied. And there you have it. So I've added some extra fog to my image, sourced from Adobe Stock, and I'm now happy with the end result. Simple.